Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB Auto Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. We also provide online tuitions and assign help in assignments, and we also do freelance based project based on um, based on MATLAB, Python, embedded system based technologies. So, if you have any such requirement, then you can contact us at uh, below mentioned website. Okay. So, in this video, we will talk about how to record uh, sound from microphone and do a spectral analysis. So, in other sense, how to do a real-time spectral analysis. So, it will not be exactly real-time, but recording will be from mic and a spectral analysis will be done. Okay. So, uh, prior to moving forward, we will mention we are using Anaconda Navigator based on Python 3.7. So, it may be possible that... Uh, uh, some of our code will not work on the Anaconda Navigator based on Python 2.7 and in order to write the codes we are using this spider okay, so let's create a new thing so, so uh, we have created uh, several videos uh, two videos based on uh, like how to record sound from microphone and how to do spectral analysis these are two separate videos so we will try to uh, combine uh, the content of these two video into one and there will be some implication for that and some tricks will be there in order to get the FFT okay. so first let's save this file and save this file record underscore FFT underscore let's sound and then save it so obviously as usual we have to import several libraries so first of all let's import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and second let's import because uh, sound device library that is used to uh, record the sound from microphone as sd and then import scipy dot fft pack as fft not fft from scipy dot fft pack import fft and okay that's it I th yeah we will be requiring numpy as well so let's import numpy as np as usual first of all we will uh, close all the open figures and now we will start writing our code so first of all in order to record the sound we need to specify uh, some of the details details for sound recording Okay, so that means we have to define sampling frequency let's say we are taking 16 kilohertz and let's define the duration and let's have three seconds of duration okay that's safe and eh? enough and now record the sound so in order to make it more interactive let's print something I start speaking and then we will record the sound into a as did as did dot record and we need to divide the duration that is d into fs total number of samples then we need to define the sampling frequency and then number of channels and then blocking is true because we don't want to move forward until recording is done so blocking equals to true okay so that's it so if you are confused like which id it is using default id and number of channels so if we are confused like what are the defaults i default devices and all those things uh, uh, which are connected to computer so there's uh, a command sd dot query underscore devices so it gives you all the devices information which are connected or drivers are installed on your system so this arrow is the input like one is microphone and this arrow denotes the default id 
and three is the output devices that means uh, this arrow indicates this output and this is the default device okay so from here we can get number of channels so that's what we have provided here so here it is uh, recording from the default devices okay now after it we will once recording is done we'll print and recording okay so now what we want to do we want to let's say play it back Okay, so sd dot I think sound is a command. sd dot play. Um, yeah, sd dot play is the command in which data and sampling information. It will play it back uh, whatever we have recorded, and let's plot the signal. Uh, plt dot plot a and then let's make a title plt dot x label or plt dot title recorded sound okay so let's first check whether it's working or not yeah so it is working okay let's do some sound into it Yeah, so you are getting it. So other sound you were getting was from the speaker. Now let's do a spectral analysis. A spectrum. So as usual, as we have discussed in our previous video, the spectrum is taken from the FFT command, which is provided from the SciPy module. So let's say x underscore f equals to FFT of a. Right and then we need to create the frequency axis okay, yeah, frequency axis and in order to create first we need to define the total length uh, and p dot size of the data so that the entire axis is divided into the similar fragments and then fr equals to n p dot line space uh, it has to be divided 0 to 1 comma um, round of n by 2 and because maximum has to be uh, the fs by 2 half of the sampling frequency so we need to multiply it by fs by 2 so the maximum value will go 48,000 uh, 8, right because our fft is double sided spectrum and we are on and we are only interested in half part of it okay so now let's read the magnitude and also uh, normalize the data by multiplying it n by 2 into or oh, it was 2 by n yes 2 by n will be there 2 by n into x underscore f and we are reading only 0 to the size of fr right if i'm right yeah np dot size of fr np dot okay and this is np dot size of fr and it is a complex quantity so we have to take the absolute value of it okay is it fine? Yeah, it seems so. So let's plot spectrum. It is saying something is wrong. Invalid syntax. Absolute value. Zero, zero, number of np dot size of fr. What is invalid? Nothing is invalid to by n. And to x underscore f is here zero to two by n of x underscore f zero to n p dot size of f r. Uh, everything looks fine. Let's run it and then we will have a look 
whether we are getting some error or not. First, let's plot this as a plt dot figure and then plt dot plot fr comma capital X underscore M and then plt dot X label it is frequency in hertz and then plt dot y label that is a magnitude and then plt dot title that is uh, sound spectrum okay let's run it it seems fine let's run it okay. hello 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 okay it is saying invalid syntax right so something is missing somewhere it is fine everything seems to be fine it is also fine index is also fine 0 to np dot size yeah because you want to get the size of this fr what is x underscore m so what is missing here okay let's copy it what was oh we have put double signs there yep okay so now it's fine let's run it hello 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 the other sound you are uh, listening is from the mic okay so it doesn't seems fine because our spectrum is not x per expected and seems like the absolute value of it okay and we can also check whether we are right or wrong so let's try to plot it plt dot plot absolute value of x underscore f yep uh, here fft command is not working directly right it is simply the absolute value of the original signal so it doesn't make any sense so you may be stuck uh, here uh, due to some difficulty like if we are recording a sound from mic we are getting it so we can try it let's say let's try to generate a normal signal and p dot arrange uh, and say 0 to same duration 0 comma d b comma 1 by fs and let's generate uh, a equals to np dot sign 2 into pi into of let's say 2000 hertz into t okay and let's run it okay pi is not defined so first let's import okay instead of pi we will write 3.14 its spectrum seems to be fine exactly because we have generated a 2 kilohertz signal and it has generated a 2 kilohertz sine wave but when we are doing this with the same to the recorded sound right it is not generating hello 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 it is simply making it the absolute value of it so code is not wrong there is a, some issue with it the thing is when we are recording the sound a uh, it is uh, recorded in a form of like rows into columns so there is a column one so python treats it as a uh, matrix right when we were generating a simple sound wave that was being recorded into 40,000 comma and there was nothing here in the column side so that was an array so right now this a is being treated as a matrix uh, matrix of rows into one column so and that is why this fft is not working so instead of it if we make a two dimensional fft of a and for that uh, we have to import it as well fft2 it will work fine 
so let's try it again hello 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 now it seems like some spectrum because some discrete frequency components are there so in order to verify it let's uh, generate a whistle sound and listen to it and then a whistle sound if it is a single frequency we should get a single peak and generally my whistle sound around 1.2 or 1.3 kilohertz so let's generate it yeah so that's what we got a uh, major peak is here around 1 to hertz so right now it is generating a spectrum so everything looks fine so it has to be uh, thought of like uh, uh, how the real device is creating an array so uh, because this a is a matrix form that is why we have to use fft2 there is another way as well if we can convert this matrix uh, into an array that means if we have to uh, if we do something so that this column size goes away then again it will be fine so there is a command like a let's say we write a equals to a dot flatten it will do the same yeah now it has become a array so that's what we do here if we want to we still want to use FFT one dimensional FFT so we have to use this extra command a equals to a dot flatten and we can say to convert matrix into array okay so these are very important aspects uh, which has to be remembered uh, while doing a uh, FFT of a acquired sound from a, a real hardware. So if we write now like FFT underscore A, so our now our code is as previous. The only command we have added here A equals to A dot flatten. Okay, so now let's do it again. Now similarly, it is also working now. Okay, so this is how we can. Uh, rec record the sound and do a spectral analysis at the same time uh, using Python. So further, it can be used. This particular code can be used for feature extraction. For specifically, if you are trying to build some a speech recognition system or a speech processing based process, so this file will help you. Okay, so I hope you understand a lot. So if you have any query or any suggestion or any doubt, then you can comment us below this video and make sure you subscribe the video so that you can see our latest video from our channel so that's it for this video thank you